Hello and welcome back. Today we are here to discuss the final part of vitamin deficiencies causing neurological manifestations. Coming to vitamin E deficiency. While the primary neurological deficit in vitamin E deficiency is a spinocerebellar syndrome, there is often a concomitant large fiber sensory predominant axonal peripheral neuropathy. Vitamin E deficiency occurs in the setting of severe fat malabsorption, example biliary dysfunction, cystic fibrosis, or genetic disorders, for example, ataxia with vitamin E deficiency or A beta lipoproteinemia. Strategies to treat vitamin E deficiency include improving fat absorption and oral vitamin E supplementation. Vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin found in seeds, grains, and wheat germ. It's rare that vitamin E deficiency is due to dietary deficiencies, but it may result from conditions that cause significant fat malabsorption. Appropriate digestion of vitamin E requires pancreatic enzymes and bile salts from the liver. Sometimes there are inherited disorders of vitamin E metabolism which can cause problems especially in children. The symptoms of vitamin E deficiency include eye movement abnormalities, vision changes, cerebellar ataxia and peripheral neuropathy in addition to signs of posterior column sensory loss in a manner reminiscent of the other vitamin deficiencies discussed earlier. Vitamin E levels can be directly measured in the blood though these levels can be affected by levels of cholesterol and lipids in the bloodstream. Treatment of vitamin E deficiency is with oral vitamin E supplements and improving fat absorption by treating the underlying medical condition if possible. Next, coming to the diagnosis and treatment of vitamin deficiencies that cause neurological manifestations. If your doctor has, does, a test for, does test you for a myeloneuropathy, he may order a magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, which can show lesions in the posterior part of the spinal cord and an electromyogram EMG and a nerve conduction study NCS, which shows slowing. While the myeloneuropathy caused by these vitamin deficiencies can be severe, the good news is that the symptoms can improve or even resolve with proper treatment. Thank you very much.